Hey, thanks for tuning in. Episode 1 is out if you haven't seen it. This episode is about the cockpit and fusing up the fuselage halves. I'm going to show you how I went about it and catch you up on a few things, so please stick around. I started with parts I would need to fix the seams on. I've barely been able to put this kit down. I'm done filming the third episode already. This is the rear gunner's seat. One downside of the kit is the detail is lacking in some areas. The engineering on the kit is excellent. These are racks for the ammo drums. So yeah, just building up the crew cabin with doohickeys. Most of the sub-assemblies are now done. Let's pave paradise. For everything and less noted, was primed in Mr. Surfacer 1500 Black. Cut 50% with Mr. Color Leveling Thinner. I've totally borrowed this from Terry at Little History. After priming, I covered everything in a metallic coat. It's for scratching, which you'll see in a bit. I was graciously sent some outlaw paints from Moss and Jason. Thank you. It's sprayed beautifully, and the colors are spot on. I like to color modulate with hues of the base coat. Sometimes dark and sometimes light. That's a PE part they provided. I can't remember what green that was.
just taking a sponge and now exposing the metal undercoat for wear and scratches. It works really well. You don't need to put down a chipping fluid, especially under these lacquers. Just scratch away the top coat. This is the spent ammo bin in the rear gunner position. I used 124th car ignition wires, which are 28 gauge, to add some more detail. These panels get covered up. You'll see later. And I mute this down later as well. I just wanted to add some visual interest, which you can barely see in the end. It's all painted and detailed. Time for some washing and shading. I've cut to me a brown panel liner 50% with VMS Carrier and adding some shadows all over. I made some seat belts, and don't worry, I make them look canvas later. I added the control stick and the rest of these parts to the deck. I had to drill the holes out so it would go in. The tolerances are really tight. After priming, I coated them with metallic black. Happy with that. It turned out all right. The indexing on the kit is excellent. Of all the planes I've built in the last year or so, this cockpit tub and fuselage went together the best. That is the cockpit tub done. I'm just covering the inside of the fuselage halves and showing you where it indexes.
I used a diluted AK 3rd Gen buff to make those belts look more canvas. I've clamped it to see where the gaps are. To protect panel lines, I putty up specific stretches at a time. I sand, prime, and correct before moving on to another section. Lost footage. I painted the hub, added the tire, taped it, and then joined the halves. Massive shout out to Nigel of Nigel's Modeling Bench. He saw my box review months ago and sent me this amazing 3D part set. Thank you so much, mate. I really appreciate it. But I forgot it came with much more than the main instrument panel. I modified the kit part so I could add the 3D part for indexing. I prep the part that takes the instrument panel. Then I chiseled away and added as much of the other parts as I could. I bought this Montex canopy mask set. It wasn't very much. But, as it turns out, the version A and version B canopies were sufficiently different. So I just used them and some other tape to cover up the canopy. And some liquid mask as well. Now this is all ready for priming and metal coating. The next episode is all about the wings and I get into some painting as well. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Be well and happy modeling.